Welcome all of you to my YouTube channel, NSN Media. Today we are going to see the second part of the PDF24 tutorial. In the first part we covered installation of the software, converting PDFs into images, combining PDFs together, recognizing text from a PDF and using PDF24 printer to convert files. So in this video we are going to look following options of the software. 1. Lock a PDF file with a password. 2. Remove password of a PDF file, if we know the password already. 3. Compress a PDF file, reduce file size. 4. How to turn an uneditable PDF file to editable PDF. So we will start with the number 1 in our list, how to lock a PDF file with a password. For this I am going to use the hello world all PDF file which we created in the last video. So we can open and see this PDF has no password at the moment we can simply open this PDF. To lock this PDF first, I will right click on the PDF file and go to PDF24. Then I will go to lock PDF option at the end of the options. Then simply I have to type the password, and confirm the password by typing it again and then give the permissions we want, that anyone who opens this PDF should be able to print it or edit it, etc. And then click on OK. Then we can select the save location and file name, I will keep the default name hello world all locked. Now if we open this PDF we can see it is asking to enter a password, if we enter the correct password we can see the PDF. To remove password of a PDF file, if we know the password already. This option is very useful when sometimes you will find PDF files you download from internet or received in an email, that has a password. Though you know the password, each time you open this file you need to enter a password. So we can use this unlock PDF option to remove this password permanently. So for this example I will use the PDF just now we created with a password, hello world all locked. Then I will right click on this PDF and go to PDF 24. Then I will select unlock PDF option. It will prompt me to enter the password. I will enter the password. Then I will select the location and file name to save this unlocked PDF. I will save it with the default name, hello world all locked unlocked. Now if I open this PDF I can see it is not asking for the password anymore. But this option we can use only for the PDFs for which we already know the password. 3. Compress a PDF file, reduce file size. Sometimes you will find that you need to attach a PDF to an email or upload a PDF file to some website which has a file size limit and your PDF file is bigger than that file size. So we can use this option to reduce the file size of a PDF. For this example, I am going to create a new PDF file using Word. I will write this as Hello World 4 and I will add an image to this file to increase the file size. And I will save this as Hello World 4 in PDF format. Now we can see this PDF file is around 215 kilobytes. So we are going to reduce it further. So as usual I will right click on this PDF and go to PDF24. Then I will go to compress option. Then I can see there are options to change the resolution of the PDF and image quality. Then I will click on calculate size it will show the new file size in green color. Suppose I want to reduce this file size to less than 100 kilobytes. So I will reduce the image quality to 75 and then check the new file size, it is still 103 kilobytes so next I will reduce the resolution, DPI, to 50, now I can see the file size changed to 85 kilobytes. Now I can click on save and select the save location and file name. I will keep the name as it is. Hello world 4 compressed. If I open this PDF I can see the image quality has reduced and I can see here the file size is only 86 kilobytes. For how to turn an uneditable PDF file to editable PDF. Sometimes you will download or purchase or receive a PDF in an email which you can read but you cannot edit or sometimes cannot print also. So now I am going to show you a trick you can use to unlock these PDF files so you can edit them or print them. This option works mostly only for the PDF files which you can only read. So to do this I am going to use this Hello World 4 compressed PDF and using Adobe Acrobat I will save it as a secured PDF which do not have permission to edit.
so if I open this PDF in Adobe Acrobat and try to edit it will ask me for a password which I do not know. So what I am going to do is combine this PDF within another PDF which does not have any edit security or any other password. So I will use Hello World 1 PDF for this. I will select both PDFs and right click on one of the PDF and open PDF 24. Then I will go to join option and save it as a combined PDF. I will name this as Hello World 4 Compressed Unlocked for Editing. Now we can see this combined PDF has Hello World 1 page and Hello World 4 page also. Now if I right click on this PDF and try to edit with Adobe Acrobat I can edit this PDF. Then I can delete the extra page which we joined. And now we have the same Hello World 4 compressed PDF which we can edit using any PDF editing software. Caution. PDF24 is not a PDF content editing software. You cannot use the software to edit the content on the PDF. For that you need to use a PDF editing software such as Adobe Acrobat and there are free softwares also available for PDF editing. Now I will show you how to get rid of this extra page which we joined using only PDF24 software. For this just right click on the PDF and go to PDF24 and open in creator option. Then you can see both the pages of the PDF. So I can select the first page and press delete key on keyboard. Then I can simply click on save icon on the top or press ctrl s on keyboard to save this PDF. Now if I open this PDF in Adobe Acrobat we can see there is only the page we required and we can edit also. So now you can see how powerful this software and what all the things we can do with this software. And it's completely free. Summary. You can use the software to convert PDF files to other formats and vice versa. You can lock and unlock PDF files. You can combine and split PDF files. You can compress PDF files. Recognize characters in a PDF. Finally use the software to make uneditable PDF files into editable PDF files. What is this software not good for? This is only a PDF file management software, you cannot edit PDF content using this software. This is not the best software to recognize characters from a PDF. It is better to convert pages using the software to images and use Microsoft OneNote to recognize characters from the images. This software cannot unlock a PDF file if the PDF is not allowed for read only also and if you don't know the password. So I believe this video has been useful to you. Next I will bring a video to show you how to recognize characters from an image using Microsoft OneNote software and see you all in the next video. If this video was useful to you it can be useful to many others also, so sharing this video will help many others also. Thank you so much for watching. Have a good time.